The selective memory and selective competence of senior government ministers, and specifically three, uh, Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, and Lord Bethel, all of whom have had difficulties retrieving uh, the the um, WhatsApp messages for the early part of the COVID pandemic period. Uh, so who knows what was discussed and what was uh, on those messages? Boris uh, couldn't access the messages. He couldn't. Um, he didn't. Uh, he didn't understand. Rishi Sunak, who's supposed to be some sort of tech wizard himself, uh, had to change his phone a number of times, including a time when somebody apparently pranked his um, phone. He had a pranker, uh, and that person apparently managed to telephone his phone. I think there ought to be an investigation. And, uh, and, 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 and so as a result of all that, he lost all his messages over that period. And Lord Bethel, same, same sort of problem. Uh, he lost all his messages over that period. And yet, when Lord Bethel wants to attack uh, Michelle Moan, Michelle Moon, I've lost count of what her name is now, and frankly, do I care? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, and Michelle Moan uh, claims, quite rightly, that Lord Bethel is capable of finding the... Uh, of accessing her uh, the messages from... Uh, 2020, which apparently he had lost, and, uh, and and now he's managed to find them. When he wants to attack uh, Michelle Moon, he can find them. When he wants to, when he's being um, interrogated by the COVID committee, he can't find them. So ag again, there seems to be some sort of issue here, um, and she has shared uh, her. Her, her her um her whatsapp message uh, her her instagram message her twitter message with the world so everybody can see that the message uh, one of the messages which is from that period when uh lord bethel could not access his messages has in fact been accessed clever clever so uh, it's uh, some sort of selective memory is going on and i think this is highly suspicious um the uh the the smp of course is extremely concerned about this they think that neither the conservative party nor michelle moon should be um excused from uh the 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 issues that they're facing michelle moon has some serious issues hanging over her and um these these various ministers who are hiding behind the fantasy that uh, uh, that the messages cannot be accessed. Well, were they de-accessed by the security services? Is there something in them that the security services worry about? Is, is that who managed to deactivate all these messages? Or were they deactivated by some chum? Uh, is this a lie from outside government, or is this a lie within government? And then there's the issue of Simon Case, who's bizarrely gone sick. Simon Case is the cabinet secretary who was present at so much of this stuff and could also presumably uh, be relied upon to to have memories of the time. But no, he can't because he is unaccountably ill with some undisclosed uh, illness. And I suppose that illness will last over the period of the COVID inquiry. It's all very dodgy, isn't it? Isn't it? If you want to read it in a dodgy way, then it's dodgy. And uh, and, and uh, Baroness Moon is caught up in it. She was a conservative uh, peer. She was a conservative member. She benefited from the PPE Option having 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 got into the VIP lane, and and, and she careered down that, and, uh, and 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 made lots of money it seems, um, and uh, I I I I don't really, I don't really know, um, and. It, uh, it 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 does it does extra it, it does seem extraordinary. She no longer seems to be a member of the uh, conservative paper, and uh, of, of the conservative party, and she has apparently 
made some sort of announcement to that effect and uh, and also that Albert Einstein lived in her home in uh, in in Glasgow I don't see what the relevance there is Albert Einstein played the violin is that relevant not terribly I would have thought but um yeah there we are the useless facts trivial facts but but life is made up of trivial facts isn't it uh, friends of mine spend their life uh, looking at the uh, uh, at the trivial um, fecal remains on uh, um, in in uh, in and around Hadrian's Wall, and they seem to discover amazing things from this ephemera. And maybe Michelle Moon is leaving her own trivial facts around the place, which will have relevance, have meaning in so many years' time. They don't seem to have, doesn't seem to have a lot of meaning now, but there we are. There we are. 